pretty. Do me a favor and just ignore my hair right now. Good morning, guys. A happy, I think it's a Monday, so happy Monday. Today's gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna be doing a really fun, productive week and I'm gonna be vlogging it just for you guys. One of my influencer friends, her name is Vera V. She's doing like a productivity challenge type thing. It's called hashtag hardest seven. And it's just supposed to like kickstart your self-development and just make you a better version of yourself. So I'm basically just gonna be following that list today and you know, doing my own things in between i'm not gonna go on my phone the next thing we're gonna do is work out hopefully that workout will wake myself up because i am exhausted <laughs> I finished! It was so much fun. It wasn't necessarily cardio, so I wasn't sweating a bunch, but it was a lot of like strength training. I'm out of shape, so I'm obviously not that strong. So it definitely took a lot of willpower to keep going, but we did it. Such a pretty view working out outside. Next on the list of things I gotta do for this challenge is I have to take a cold shower. Um, LOL, if you remember last time I took a cold shower in a video, it did not go over well. I hated it. <coughs> That was, that was cold. Borderline traumatizing. Please pray for me and I will see you guys after. Say today. That cold shower I took, zero out of 10. Terrible. To be completely transparent with you guys, I did not have an ice cold shower for the entire time like I was supposed to. I got like halfway in and then I was just like, absolutely not. And then I just turned it all the way hot. But you know what? I have to have room to grow in some areas and that is one of them. My self-discipline when it comes to taking cold showers, not necessarily the best. And that's okay for right now, as long as we can grow into that. So still terrible though next it says i gotta do a meditation i think i'm gonna do a five minute youtube meditation the one i usually do because my attention span is not that much we're not gonna push it today we might tomorrow though That meditation was pretty fire, not gonna lie. I think the funniest part is when it asked me like, what was one moment in the day so far that brought me joy? The first thing that came to mind was turning the shower hotter after it was cold. <laughs> And then the meditation was like, see what you can do to implement that in your life more. And I was like, um, I feel like I'm not supposed to, but who knows? I just blow dried my hair, so now we're ready for the day. Now I'm just gonna tidy up my room really quick, that way we can have a fresh environment for the rest of the day. Okay guys, the next thing we got going on on our to-do list is one hour of deliberate practice towards blank. So we get to choose and I am choosing the piano. Now, if you don't know what deliberate practice on the piano looks like, I'm about to show you and it is the most boringest thing in the entire world. Literally so annoying. the idea i'm not gonna bore you with the details i'm gonna do this for an hour <laughs> take my hand and hold it tight look at the paintings i'll be your guide hey guys it is a while later and i'm ready to do my second hour of deliberate practice and i decided to choose the saxophone i've practiced the saxophone like twice this summer already and just to like clarify i'm not that good i literally just play the saxophone in the school band i thought i would just play some fun jazz songs and just vibe out because i love playing the saxophone it's also something that i want to get better at <laughs> off the to-do list with 30 pages of intellectual reading. Um, happy
happy Tuesday, everyone. It is a gloomy Tuesday, but it's still a happy Tuesday. It is raining a lot. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's raining a lot. <laughs> okay, so to be completely honest, I'm not sure what the last clip I filmed was. I'm pretty sure it was me like running and screaming in the rain. Um, so yeah, a lot has happened since then. <laughs> right after I filmed that clip, the power went out and the power stayed out for, I want to say like one to two hours. And during that time, I just like drove to a friend's house just to hang out there while the power was out. Perks of finally having my license. And now I'm having a pita chip and a spicy dip snack. It's really good. Also guys, I wanted to show you, I got two books from Amazon and they just came in. This is literally going to be the shortest haul in human history, but I still wanna show you guys the books I got. The first one is The Song of Achilles and the second one is We Were Liars. And I just saw these books recommended so much and when my brother gave me an Amazon gift card for my birthday, I knew it was the perfect opportunity. To stop thinking about it and just buy these books. I heard this one makes you cry at the end and this one has a crazy intense plot twist. So I'm excited for them both for different reasons. Another thing I decided I wanted to do today was make another summer playlist, specifically songs that I can blast in the car, have a good time listening to. And I'm low key bad at discovering new songs for some reason. So I decided to put like a little question box on my story asking people to put in their favorite song to blast in the car. So I'm gonna look at everybody's responses so far and start making a playlist. I also decided to plan out my entire week today and make it all fancy. Low key, I have way too much time on my hands if I'm gonna be making stuff like that. Good morning. It is Thursday. Now, I know the last time I filmed was like a Tuesday, I think. And I'm really sad I didn't get a chance to film Wednesday. I just didn't feel good Wednesday. My stomach hurt. I ended up taking a nap like halfway through the day. Also, today for a hairstyle, I thought I would do something new besides just like brushing it and leaving it down, which is what I do for like every video. And I'm sure it gets boring. I saw this really cool Pinterest hairstyle online and I'm gonna see if I can recreate it, but no promises. I feel like this doesn't look like the pictures did. I know it doesn't look good, but like, is it good enough for me to not change it? Cause I'm really lazy. So I'm really hoping makeup will make it look better. I also wanted to give you guys an update on the challenge that I've been doing, hashtag hardest seven. It's what I talked about at the beginning of the week. Okay, so I have absolutely no idea how this happened, but I accidentally filmed one of the clips that I was taking in slow-mo. All of me talking is just in slow-mo. Just to quickly summarize what I was saying, on day two, I did everything in the challenge correct, except for I still didn't take a cold shower. And then on day three, which is Wednesday, I just was not feeling good at all. I was feeling sick, so I really didn't do anything in the challenge. Um, back to the video, my apologies. Guys, guess what? I took a cold shower this morning, but to be fair, I didn't get my hair wet when I was taking this shower. So it was definitely a lot easier because it was a shorter shower and I didn't have like my cold, wet hair. Overall, I am very impressed with myself and I just wanted to update you guys on that. Okay guys, this is the finished look, my hair, makeup, and outfit. And if you're curious, my necklace is from Emily Elizabeth Jewelry and my shirt is from Brandy Melville. Hey guys, it is currently 10.04. It's a Saturday night. We're gonna do a bake with me. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying that they miss my cooking with Cassie segment. So I thought I would bring it back for this video. Special occasion is it's gonna be Father's Day tomorrow. I'm gonna make my dad some banana blueberry muffins and I'm kind of excited because I really love banana blueberry muffins. Where all the time lapses.
Hey, hey guys, voiceover Cassie here. Okay, so while editing this video, I realized that there are a lot of time lapses and not really anything of me talking in between. So I decided to go on Pinterest and find some really inspiring quotes and just like some great reminders for your day. So I'm gonna read them off really quick. To show up imperfectly but open to change is better than not showing up at all. You can mute people in real life too. It's called boundaries. Go where your energy is reciprocated, celebrated, and appreciated. Be the reason someone feels welcomed, seen, heard, valued, loved, and supported. Okay, I made all of the dough and I tried just like a spoonful and it tastes pretty good. 